Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another banger video. Today we're gonna check out how you can change your trust factor in CSGO. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider dropping a like. I would appreciate it. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Today we're gonna talk about how you can change your CSGO trust factor fast and easy. Or, well, moderately fast, but at least easy. To get a better trust factor, we gotta first understand what trust factor is and how it works. So trust factor is used to determine how you behave in CSGO and how you play the game. Or if you're a cheater, of course, or not, if you're toxic and all of that stuff. There are three levels of trust factor that you gotta know of, and that is green, yellow, and red. Green means that you're a clean player, that you're friendly, you give call outs, you're just a good guy. Yellow means that you're, you're probably a piece of shit, but CSGO hasn't figured it out yet, and you might even be cheating or griefing. And red is just, well, the game has figured out you're a piece of shit, and therefore you are griefing, toxic, or even cheating. That's how it is, that's usually how CSGO works. So how do you change? change your trust factor to green. Well, changing trust factor is as easy as said. You can change your trust factor with two ways that I've found for me working personally. This can and cannot work for you at all at one point in time. I'm just sharing with you my experience with trust factor and how I deal with it. Usually it works for me. All right, let's hop into the first one, paying to change your trust factor. As I said before, this only is, this only can and can't work for you, it works for me. And also this the first version is in fact a main account version or theory that I have. This first version should in, te in theory increase your trust factor majorly and fast of course. Paying for trust factor is obviously bound to money. That means that you're gonna have to fork out some money. So how do you pay for better trust factor? Trust factor is determined not only but very heavily over how much money you spend in CSGO itself. Not on the market, in CSGO. Yes, the game. So if you spend a lot of money on CSGO and your main account, the system will think that you probably won't be cheating since why would you be uh, why would you be spending so much money if you cheat doesn't make sense does it and in theory this is actually true since you won't you won't be spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on a throwaway account that you just used to spend so here is what i've been doing when i start realizing that my trust factor goes down and i want to get it up again i just load up 100 years on steam then I go in-game and buy those pink capsules. It is very important that you do this in-game and not on the market. Yes, in-game, since we are going for cost per million in the game, in CSGO. So you buy those pink capsules and for the first time it should be 10 at once. That is $100 spent to your cost per million, which is good. Then you just go on the market and sell them again. You're gonna experience some, some loss probably the first time, like 20 euros, but that is fine because in the end you're trying to get up your cost per million, right? So you sell those capsules for around about two years less, you get eight, 80 years back, you go inside of CSGO again and you spend them again. You get eight out of that and so on, you get six, then you get four, you get two, you get one, and so on and so on. In the end, it should go roughly about $300 in cost per meal spent on CSGO. This should, in theory, give you not only Steam points for the people that are interested in it, but also should give you quite a decent trust factor boost. At least that works for me. As I said, this is obviously just for people that don't care about money. Anyways, now that we have talked about how you can pay for getting a better trust factor, let's go on to the part where uh, we are not spending any money because we are broke. All right. So how do I get my CSGO to love me again without spending money? That is also pretty easy, but it is extremely time consuming. This time you are not boosting a trust factor with money. This time you're just uh, doing what you're supposed to do. The first step would be um, changing your profile. Not like changing Steam accounts, but changing your profile. If you're in game and someone sees your profile and it looks like some cringe HVH uh, player, then uh, they will instantly report you because uh, they have suspicion that, that you are cheating. Make sense? Makes sense. Um, so what you want to do is basically just change your profile up to someone or something that is not speaking instantly. Hey, I'm cheating in your game right now. That also means that you should not buy commands because first of all, they do nothing besides look sus and they are ugly as fuck too. Also, if you have some suspicious groups like uh, Wand NN or um, Butterfly, some, some, something retarded like that, that only fucking HVHs and semi-ragers have, leave them instantly. People can tell by your groups if you're a rager or not, if you're a cheater or not, right? They can tell, they can smell you from a mile away. What I mean with that is just basically just throw out everything that you are aware of and 
basically make it as blank as possible while not being blank. Display your CSGO hours. Display how, I don't know, your pins. And don't buy pins, by the way. Don't buy those fucking tradable pins. If you have one loyalty badge and 20 fucking paid pins, we all know you're cheating. Like, even if you're legit, we all know you're cheating. That's just how it is. That, 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 it, it doesn't help you. And that alone, by just playing the game with that, should in fact uh, increase your uh, trust factor highly because people won't report you all the time. Because, you know, you're just an average show playing the game. Don't be sus all the time. Don't use 3 million backtrack. Don't fucking run across the map fucking shooting out of your anus. Stuff like that, you know? And uh, of course, don't idle your games also because idling your games is stupid. It doesn't bring you anything. It doesn't bring you trust factor. Play the games. Because I've realized that playing the games actually boosts your trust factor, but not to a point where, you know, it's it's insane, but, you know, you, you'll figure it out that something is happening because you're playing different games. The, the common sense stuff. Don't be a same rager. Don't run around fucking shooting out of your anus and, you know, all that funny stuff that you would normally do. And if you now here sit and be like, man, I'm all, I have all done this and it doesn't work. Record your games and then check for yourself that you, how clean you are. Because afterwards you're always smarter and afterwards you see how fucking sus you are. In that case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something. And if you did, of course, then drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to know more tips or have a suggestion, then drop it down below. I will, in fact, uh, check the comments because I always do. To your left, you can see two videos to your right you can subscribe and i see you in the next one bye bye